Hey guys, for this hat, I'm going to be working with some foamy paper. Feel free to work with fabric as well. So this is essentially like a cone and just a donut. And I'm going to be making two sizes of this. For the big one, for the cone, first I'm going to be gluing two foamy papers to make it a bigger paper, if that makes sense. They sell foamy paper like bigger sizes, but I have a ton of like foamy paper this size so this is what i'm using to glue them i'm just going to be adding the glue on the edge in there and then just glue those edges and i'm using parchment paper to just work over so now that i have my two papers glued i'm going to be measuring the height of one and then just mark that measurement from like the top left side to the bottom right side joining those marks adding another line underneath that not measuring this one it's a bit less than an inch and then adding some lines in there these are gonna be my tabs so cutting this and then just cutting those marks and because i'm using foamy paper if you fold it for the first time it kind of goes back to its shape so first i just made the shape of the cone then just left it with my uh, scissors in there so that it would kind of like have the shape now i'm gonna be gluing my cone like this using my super glue i didn't want to glue them by overlapping them because since i'm using this kind of like foamy paper it was gonna be like way too thick but if you're working with fabric feel free to do that and just make sure you work with a super glue that dries fast like within 10 seconds it's gonna be so helpful so once i have my cone that looks like this i'm going to be gluing a couple of other foamy papers the same way that i did but for this one i'm going to be making a square measuring the height of my paper and then just with those measurements going on top as i did with the uh cone and then just measuring that all the way down in a straight line and then just cutting that now because i'm working with foamy paper and if you fold this it kind of goes back to its shape so i'm just going to be using some pins to just pin my tabs inwards so that i can have like that measurement because and that is the measurement that i need for my donut placing that on top as in the center as i can make it to be i didn't measure i just went by eye and as you can see i'm using my mechanical pencil here so it looks kind of like even ish marking that round shape and then just uh, marking how big i want my donut to be and then just going all the way around it like so and again joining those lines until i have my donut then i'm gonna be cutting the whole thing gonna remove my pins and now i'm gonna be folding them towards me or outside pretty much the other way around placing my donut through there using those tabs to just glue them to the donut part now as i mentioned before i'm making two of this i'm gonna be wrinkling this like so and again because i'm working with foamy paper it wrinkled it and i just left like random like heavier objects on top of it so it would just stay with the shape and so i just took some glue not to glue this but just to add the glue and just wait for the glue to dry in kind of like the shape because it made that part where i was adding the glue harder and it kind of like molded itself into that shape if that makes sense so once i got to the shape that i wanted it took me like good 24 hours or just maybe even two two years not not two years two days later i'm going to be painting them using my black acrylic paint again feel free to work with foamy paper if you prefer but again i have like three big packs up of amazon and i'm using them i just prefer to paint them and sometimes even when i use colored foamy paper i end up painting them anyways covering everything covered inside as well because that part uh, depending on how you place it is going to be visible now i'm going to be adding some details of like ribbons and buckles for the ribbons i'm going to be using the part where i cut it the cone part it has like a curve in there which i need for my ribbon so i'm just going to be marking this depends on how thick you want your ribbon to be for mine and for the size that i showed you i'm going to be using one and a half inch marking that all the way through that edge i'll join those lines and then just cut it you're going to be needing two of this and for the second one i'm pretty much basing myself from the first one placing that on top tracing the shape and then just cutting it gluing that from like the edges as i did at the beginning now i did the buckle and pretty much it's just creating a square and then just making two cutouts of rectangles as i mentioned before i did this twice and in my second one i feel like i showed better how i did this buckle thing and speaking of which for my second one it's pretty much going to be the same but measurements are going to be different because it's going to be smaller and that's what i'm going to be showing here because i don't want to sound too repetitive in this one i'm just using one paper to make the cone as opposed to two and then my cone is going to be 
eight and a half inches tall. And by the way, the side of your cone is gonna be how high your hat is gonna be. For my ribbon, in this case, I used a bit less than an inch. And in, remember, in the other one, it was an inch and a half. Doing the square for the donut the exact same way. And these are gonna be the measurements for my donut. And now for the ribbon, the thickness of my ribbon, and just trace that in some leftover uh, pieces of foam. You're gonna have a bunch of like leftover pieces of foam in this project, by the way. But to me, that's fine because I just store them and I'm gonna be using them later. So now I have this stripe, but it's like straight. It's not curved anymore, so it's easier for me to work with. I'm going to be making a mini square by just using the same measurements from like how thick it is. So these are the measurements that I'm basing myself. And that's because I need my buckle to be the same size of my ribbon because my ribbon is going to go through there. So just marking one centimeter per side. Then adding two crosses where I'm going to be cutting, choosing how thick I want my buckle to be. In this case, I chose one centimeter, marking a centimeter in all four edges. Take my ruler, just make the straight lines, and then just cut the parts where I made those marks with the crosses. And to paint the uh, rims and the buckles, I'm going to be using this orange, purple, and gold acrylic paints. We're almost there, guys, but I'm going to be placing my foamy river. River? <laughs> I'm going to be placing my foamy river again i'm going to be placing my foamy ribbon through those holes and that is going to be the buckle in the ribbon itself i'm going to go around it cut the axis and then just glue it so this is what the bigger um wrinkly one looks by itself i think it looks really nice anyways and this is what it looks like with the buckle on what i did in this one and this is why i showed you how i did it in the other one is because i glued it before painting and it was kind of like trickier to paint but i'm just going to be securing this I mean it's tight, it's not going to be moving around, but just to secure it. And this is what the other one that is not wrinkled looks like. I honestly like them both, I like them both together, I think they look really cute. And the good thing about this one is that you can hang them from your ceiling using some like needle and thread, pretty much Harry Potter vibes, place them by themselves or just use them to decorate other home decor that you have there that is not necessarily Halloween, but with the hat I think it makes it look like it's wearing its own uh, Halloween custom, which I think is really cute. And here's how I'm displaying the other one, the bigger one. I have it on this side table with that plant Halloween decoration that I did before. I have the DIY on my channel, you're gonna check it out. And this other candy corn decoration that I'm gonna be sharing next, and for the hat itself, I can decide if I want it to be alone by itself like this or if I want it as a candy corn hat <laughs> or if it's too repetitive because I did the same thing for the other plant thing that I have in the kitchen. This DIY got way longer than I wanted it to be. And this is officially the first DIY Halloween that I have coming for this month. So if you're into Halloween stuff, give this video a thumbs up, share this and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.